Hello AOS fans, Robin here, I'm back again. It's Wednesday again, which means Word Wednesday. And this week's word is scientist. Because I have uh, here Dorian Kindersley's 100 scientists who made history. Yes, it's another um, Dorian Kindersley book and another uh, kind of one of their history books. And this one is the history of science, obviously, and there's a few more in this range. There's the history of uh, people, uh, inventions, events, and women who made history. A hundred each of those. And this one is scientists, uh, subject close to my own heart. I love this book, and it's it's bright, flash, uh, you know, engaging. I would say probably for 10, 11 upwards. I would say, as you can see, it's quite a lot of text, but also still a number of pictures. That one is priced $12.99 in the UK, and it'll be probably something different in the US. Again, I'll get Pete to flash that up. So we have uh, the contents page here, and the book is split down into one, two, three, four, five sections. Uh, there's perceptive pioneers, so that's kind of like ancient history type scientists, brilliant biologists, clever chemists, phenomenal physicists, and incredible innovators. A bit of alliteration going on there. So in the, in the pioneers, we've got people like Aristotle, Archimedes, Hippocrates, Al Khwarizmi, uh, Fibonacci, and Francis Bacon. And then uh, the biologists, we've got Mary Anning, Hildegard Bingen, Robert Hooke, Carl Linnaeus, Darwin, uh, Nettie Stevens, James Lovelock, um, and then people like Jenna Salk. Um, there's a little page for them at the end. Chemist, Boyle, Priestley, uh, Volta and Faraday, which is interesting, I'd have, said, I'd have thought they would be physicists, but anyway, uh, inventive chemists, so Charles Goodyear, uh, then there's a big section on the Curies, and Dorothy Crowfoot Hodgkin, and the physicists, uh, we've got Da Vinci, Copernicus, Huygens, Kepler, Newton, Maxwell, Rutherford, Einstein, quite famous I think, Oppenheimer, and then up to uh, Hubble, Vera Rubin, and Stephen Hawking. And the innovators, James Watt, Rudolf Diesel, a lot of computing stuff, it includes Ada, uh, Ada Lovelace, Grace Murray Hopper, Tim Berners-Lee is in there, Röntgen is in there, Tesla's in there, Lister, Turing, uh, Rachel Carson, and then right at the very, very end, there's a section on communicators, and they're probably much better than I am, there's David Attenborough, Carl Sagan, Davos Sobel, Bill Nye, and Neil deGrasse Tyson. Each book, as you, each, each page is laid out, it tends to be a double, spread, double page spread per uh, scientist, and they've got uh, chunks of text, I love this bit at the bottom. It has who became, who came before, who came after. I really like that. What I like about these types of books, it talks about the people, is that it contextualizes the science. I've talked about that before in other videos. It contextualizes the science and makes the scientists a bit more human. Uh, whereas like, normally, if you're learning it as boring, uh, facts, it gets a bit boring. Uh, but here it kind of tells you about the people that were involved and it tells you uh, uh, where their theories came from and where they were led, what they led to. And I really like that. Uh, there's a big, there's normally a chunk that says, did you know, with a little interesting fact, so did you know that Aristotle is believed to have a stutter that caused him problems when speaking? Despite this, he tutors, tutored students throughout his life. So, so there's little there's little bits of information in each one, which tell you, uh, by the way, even though I'm known for mathematics and science, I also enjoy poetry, art and music. That's Archimedes. Really stresses, actually, these early ones, how the sort of polymath nature of them, how they could pretty much do, do everything. Uh, did you know Archimedes worked out the formula for calculating the volume of a sphere? And then this one here has how, how he changed the world. Archimedes was way ahead of his time, as well as finding a new way of measuring volume and writing very large numbers known as standard notation. Many more of his ideas and discoveries are still used today. So there's a, normally a chunk on, on what, they, uh, what they did. So you can easily access it and then find out more uh, about what, what, they, what they invented or what they discovered. I'm going to beauty, uh, brilliant biologists here, Hildegard Bingen and Mary Anning. I only get a page each, but they are obviously vitally important. Mary Anning, I knew very little about until recently. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a decent sized representation of women in this book, uh, which is good. The, um, obviously, history being what it is, it is predominantly men, but on most pages you'll find somebody. So, Patricia Bath is here. This laser scientist is known for her innovative research in areas of blindness prevention, treatment, and cure. And on it goes. So you do get the occasional page of like, these are all people who did things with uh, vision and sight and light. And then there's Hook and Linnaeus. Actually, that's not a double page spread either. That's just two single page spread. So actually, maybe I was wrong when I said, no, no, Darwin gets two. I guess Darwin's probably more important than Linnaeus or Hook. Um, and so this book just goes on and on. Open it up. Joseph Priestley, Joseph Black, Volta, Faraday, Michael Faraday, 
the double page spread. Uh, by the way, I love to share knowledge of science with everyone and gave Christmas Day lectures at the Royal Institution, a tradition which has continued with other scientists. Obviously, the Royal Institution lectures do still carry on. They started with Faraday. I did not know that. Pasteur is in here, and then here my own chemical hero, uh, Dmitry Mendeleev, who I'm pleased to say does get a double page, and who, who came before. We're down here, we've got Lavoisier and John Newlands. And then who came after? Henry Moseley and uh, Seaborg, Glenn T. Seaborg. So that is the book. Uh, it goes on. Alice Ball, Dorothy Crowfoot Hodgkin, champ of crystallography who advanced human healthcare. Uh, how she changed the world in a lovely little uh, x ray crystal here. Uh, Dorothy Hodgkin pioneered x ray crystallography techniques, completing structures for penicillin, insulin, and various vitamins which improve global medicine and healthcare. So that is a really nice book. 100 scientists in beautifully accessible information, perfect for, uh, say, 11, 10, 11 upwards, I think. Uh, it's a really good book. I really like that. Uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of DK books, but this one is it's up, is as good as all the others. Um, Stephen Hawking's in there. And, uh, well, there, yeah, I don't think there's much more I need to say about that. It's a great book. If you're looking for a history of science book, a general overview book, this is a great one to have on the shelf. So do check it out. Uh, do let me know if you've got any other great science books that you like uh, or who your favourite scientist was or whether you're like me, you love Mendeleev. Um, do put it in the comments and I will see you again soon. I hope you found that useful. And uh, until next time, until the next World Wednesday, then take care. Bye.